I've been testing Lindy AI for the past few weeks, and honestly, it's one of those tools that sounds almost too good to be true. An AI assistant that promises to handle your repetitive tasks 10 times faster and cheaper than hiring someone? <laughs> Let's be real, we've all heard that pitch before. But here's the thing, Lindy actually delivers on most of what it promises. Though, not without some serious caveats. This is basically an AI automation platform that lets you build custom assistants without writing code. Think of it as having a digital employee that can handle your email, customer support, data entry, and a bunch of other mind-numbing tasks. Setting up Lindy is surprisingly straightforward. You literally just tell it what you want it to do in plain English, connect your apps, and it starts working. I set up an assistant to manage my inbox in about 10 minutes, and within a few hours it was sorting emails, drafting responses, and even escalating the complex stuff to me. The no-code approach is genuinely refreshing. You don't need to be a developer to make this work. Here's what surprised me most. The quality of responses. Most AI assistants give you generic, robotic answers. But Lindy actually learns from your style and gets better over time. It can access your knowledge base, previous conversations, and even your calendar to give contextual responses. When I tested it with customer support scenarios, it handled about 70% of inquiries without any human intervention. Now, let's talk pricing, because this is where things get interesting. There's a free plan that gives you 400 task credits monthly which is decent for testing the waters. The paid plan started around $30 per month, but here's the catch. It's credit-based. Heavy users can burn through credits fast, and suddenly that affordable price tag isn't looking so friendly anymore. But wait, there's more to this story. The user reviews are genuinely mixed, and I get why. Some people are raving about how it's transformed their workflows, while others are frustrated by the limitations. The platform is still relatively new, so you'll encounter bugs and features that feel half-baked. I noticed it sometimes acts too autonomously, making decisions I didn't want it to make. The biggest complaint I keep seeing? It's expensive for what you get, if you're a heavy user. That credit system can add up quickly if you're automating a lot of tasks. Plus, if you need highly customized workflows, you might hit some walls. It's powerful, but it's not infinitely flexible. Here's my honest take. If you're drowning in repetitive tasks and want something that works out of the box, Lindy is genuinely useful. Small businesses and solopreneurs will probably love it, but if you're expecting it to replace a human assistant entirely, or if you need complex, highly customized automation, you might be disappointed. The privacy concerns are real too. You're essentially giving an AI access to your emails, customer data, and internal processes. They claim it's secure, but that's something you'll need to weigh for yourself. Bottom line, Lindy works well for what it's designed to do, but it's not the magic bullet some people make it out to be. If you're willing to work within its limitations and the pricing works for your use case, it could genuinely save you hours every week. Just don't expect miracles and definitely test it thoroughly before committing to a paid plan. If this helped you out, hit like and subscribe. I break down the latest and most talked about tools every week across finance, marketing, software, design, basically any niche you care about. Check out the newest review here or hit the playlist if you're still comparing. But hey, what's your take? Is this one a win or would you pass? Drop a comment. I'm always curious what real users think.